Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another repair. It's a bent power supply, a warp tech. The model is NPS 65W. It's the 0 to 60 volts, 5 amps. Um, uh, this belongs to one of my friends. We got. I've also one. I also have the same one here. Um, he was trying to charge uh, some lithium batteries and possibly uh, used the, the wrong polarity on the output. If we check, first of all, this. If we connect it to the power, there isn't any output. The case is pretty straightforward to uh, remove. Few screws around and it pops up like that. Now, as you can see here, the primary, the primary is marked, the secondary is here, and so this is the output. I wanted to show you something that the output is. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. If we check it is sorted with eight ohms resistance. Now this is our output um, Sotki diode, Sotki diode. Um, obviously it's have remo already removed the screw um, it is the suspect for the for the short circuit let's remove it So this part is an MURF 1660 CT. So here is our diode. For some reason it is 600 volt. I don't think it's really needed. Um, it's a little fast recovery. Uh, rectifier. So here is 600 volt, 16 amps. It doesn't say if it is per channel or uh, per device. Anyway, I don't have something similar. I'm going to use this SS STTH 6003 CW. Um, it's double the amount of power of that one and uh, it should be just fine we have to use an insulator of course because this is uh, insulated package and it should be fine now in order to remove um, the PCB here is the mains connector the fan here and the display we may need Thank you. 
Now the output wires are still connected but we shouldn't have any problem. As you can see here is an, uh, a temperature sensor as well. Now let's see how we are going to fit this there. Um, So it will go somewhere around there and okay. I'm going to bend the legs using these pliers and forgot to show that now that we have removed there isn't any shorts There aren't any sorts. Uh, is this going to be okay? Just a quick test fit. Now let's find the insulator and here we are So I'm going to put some screws for the alignment Solder That looks fine. And try this screw if it fits. We're going to need to cut it definitely. Oh, oh maybe not. It is fine. Very nice. Now let's put back our screws. Put 
part of the ribbon cable, the input and just to be on the safe side we shouldn't have any continuity between the heat sink and the IC excellent check again the output and we have a dead sort what Now let's get everything out again. So here we are after lots and lots of uh, searching for a part as the previous one was obviously sorted lesson learned always test your parts before installing uh, it is it is this one and it is already insulated so we are good to go straight away like that Just a bit silicone paste. I won't tighten it down, this is just for alignment. So our part is installed, let's give it a go, And yes, sure enough, it's back to life. Let's use
I'll see you on the next one. Bye.